trouble with the uh, council president, but uh, the stuff that's been going on around town is out of control. Uh, I, I don't read blogs. It's crazy stuff. But uh, the things that, uh, and as an attorney, I've had some conversations with Mrs. Jokum, and she's provided me with some of the emails that have been sent to her. Now, it's fine under the law. We are public officials, and as far as libel and slander goes, we're held to a higher esteem, and people can get, get away with a lot more than they can with a private citizen. But the attacks on her family, on her daughters, who don't even live here, it's, I, I couldn't even say on this microphone, on TV, to the general public, what has been written about her family, and I just want to say there's a recall effort going on, and, and part of the recall effort is about things that, well, she didn't vote for the split tax and things like that. Those are political issues. There is a conniving, undermining network of mean people out there that will go to no end in vicious attacks. If you want to talk about the issues and you want to vote against, you want to vote me out, you want to vote any of us out, that's all fine and good. But if this is below, this is below the sneaker, in the mud, below the mud, unbelievable, terrible stuff. Now, you heard some comments about uh, some emails that were exchanged. I got a call from John Julius, who is coming to the defense of this poor woman in Katuit, and he asked me to come out and conduct an investigation uh, as one of the town councilors. So I said, John, called him back. I said, John, I'll, I'll call the woman up and I'll have a conversation with her. We talked for about an hour on the phone, and she just said she wanted to make a point. She didn't want to go anywhere. And I used to be an assistant DA. I used to conduct investigations, help in investigations. The number one thing in an investigation is you need, you need a victim to come forward and you need a victim to want to go and press charges against somebody. Well, we have all these people who it doesn't affect them who are coming up and making all, all these attacks, and it's just crazy. And I would just like to say, as a town councilor, I don't always agree with Mrs. Jokum. I don't always agree with a lot of other people here. And as far as Mrs. Fago, she, she and I, we, we don't agree on, on things uh, on a lot of levels. But nevertheless, it's always been respectful. And that's what we really need to get back to in this town. I respect Mr. Burt's comments. Um, we've got a tough job ahead of us here in the near future. And I'm just going to suggest to all you folks out in Mrs. Jokum's uh, precinct to uh, think about what she's done for the town. What she's done, I don't know. She's got more miles on. My mother lives in Boston. And she's got more miles on her car going up to the State House to advocate for, for um, educational aid for the town. So I'm going to urge everyone to go out there and say, hey, if you don't like Janet Jokum um, for where she stands on an issue, that's fine. Vote against her in the next election. But what's happening now, it's ugly, it's dirty, it's nasty, and it's things involving her family that it's disgusting. And you would all be disgusted if you read these. So I'm going to ask everyone out there who's in Ms. Jokum's precinct, to please come out and vote and appreciate the work that she's done for you, she's done for your community, she's done for our schools, and show her the support that she deserves. Thank you.